We thank you, God. We thank you, God, for never giving up on us. Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, God. We thank you, 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 we thank you. We thank you for blessing us. We thank you for blessing our families. Thank you, God, for a place to live, a place to lay our hands. Thank you, God, for the person that laid upon their heart for blessing us. And bless them, God. Thank you for blessing them to bless us. Thank you. Giving us the ability to bless others. Thank you for all God allowed us to be a blessing. Thank you for allowing us to love. Thank you for removing the hate out of our hearts. Thank you for giving us a new mindset. Thank you. Oh God, thank you. You're doing so much right now. Oh God, you're doing so much. You're doing so much. God, and we just want to say thank you. Oh God, we just thank you for everything that you've done. We thank you for everything that you're doing. Oh God, we thank you. Oh God, we thank you for touching the heart. Oh, the men and the most she. Oh God, we thank you for touching the heart. Jesus, thank you for touching our hearts and our minds. And, oh God, hearing our cries for help. Oh God, hearing our cries for help. Prayers that we placed on the altar. Prayers that we placed on that willy wall. Prayers that we have on our own personal walls. Oh God, the walls of our hearts. Those secret prayers. Those secret tears. Oh, that hidden stuff, God. We thank you, Lord. God, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for covering our children, whether they're grown or they're infants. God, we thank you. And somewhere in between, God, we thank you. God, you've been a blessing. You're always a provider. You've always been Jehovah Jireh. You're always a healer. You always do what you do, God. And you have no compromise. And you have no respect of persons. Oh, God, and we just want to say thank you. Jesus, thank you. Thank you for being the God that you are. Thank you for being the God that you are. Thank you for being who you are. Jesus, thank you for showing up and showing out. Thank you for it, Lord God, and we welcome you. We welcome you in right now. We welcome you into our hearts. We welcome you into our minds. We welcome you into our spirits. We welcome you into prayer this afternoon, God. We welcome you into our homes, God, as we pray, God, whether we're on the beach, where we're at the park, we may be driving, God. Wherever we are, God, we welcome you. We welcome you. Oh, God, we welcome you. Open up our hearts to you. We open up our hearts to you. We open up our hearts to you. And we cast all our cares. We cast them at your feet. Every concern. Everything, God, that's on our heart. Everything we carry. Everything that we're carrying, God. Oh, God, we just wait. Oh, God, we're just asking you. To, oh, God, we're just asking you, God. Oh, God, to take it all away. Take it all away. Take it all away. Everything, God. We're asking you to take it all away, Lord. Your will be done. Your will be done, Jesus. Your will be done. Jesus, your will be done. Oh, God, as we open up our hearts to you, as we open up our minds to you, Father God, and you come in, Lord, and you start exposing these things, I'm asking God that you give us a heart to receive. If God give us a heart to accept, God, I'm asking you to give us a heart to receive and accept what you are saying. God, open up our hearts, open up our minds, open up our spirits. God, give us a heart of flesh. Oh, God, as we enter in, enter into your presence, as we enter into that place of worship, as we enter into that place of praise, as we enter into that place of surrender. Father, we ask you, God. We ask you, God, to have your way. We're asking God that you have your way. Lord God, enter in. Have your way. As we open up, oh God, we open it up more. And we expose it at all. Jesus, Jesus, oh God, we're asking, Lord, that you forgive us for all our sins and all our wrongdoings. Oh God, we're asking that you forgive us, Lord, 
of everything that's in our heart that's not like you. Oh God, we're asking that God that you forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, oh Lord God, of anything and everything, God, that we may have said and done. Lord God, even before just prayer. Oh God, even stuff that we may do, God, and we don't even recognize or realize that we're doing. Oh God, we're asking that you remove it, God. Stuff, Lord God, that we're supposed to apologize for and we haven't done it yet. Stuff that we're supposed to stop doing and we haven't done it yet. Oh God, we're asking that you forgive us for being disobedient, honorary, hateful, spiteful. Oh God, jealousy, envy, covetousness. Oh God, stuff in our heart. There's stuff in our heart, God, that there's things in our heart that still has not changed, Lord, even if you've been working on us year after year and after year. So God, we're asking God in the name of Jesus that you give us that heart, Lord God, to receive the truth. God, give us that heart to receive. Give us that heart to receive. Oh, give us that fleshly heart. And God, that stuff that's hard, Lord, we're asking that you take it away. Lord God, to, to tear down those walls, we're asking that you remove it in the name of Jesus. Remove it in the name of Jesus. Tear it down, God. Oh God, that spirit of disobedience, that, that spirit of stubbornness, that, that hateful spirit, the spiteful spirit, God, even toward that bitterness, Lord. Things like that, Lord God, that unforgiveness, Lord. Even that hurt, that pain, stuff that we've carried from a childhood. Oh God, we're casting it all at your feet right now. All of it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We're casting it down right now in the name of Jesus. God, I'm asking in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that each and every individual that's in our homes, that's been in our homes, that we've come across. Oh God, I'm asking that you touch their heart right now. Touch their mind right now. Touch their spirit right now, wherever they may be. Oh God, give them a heart of flesh. Let them know that you love them. Let them know that you care about them. Let them know, Father God, that you have better for them. Oh God, and that this season, oh God, there's a new season. There's a new season. There's a new season for each and every one of us and that we just have to be in expectation and believe and trust and watch and see your manifestation of your glory in this season, in this season. Oh God, in this season, just rest in you, just rest in you, just rest in you no matter what level we're at right now. It does not matter. Oh God, help us to stop looking at other folks and comparing ourselves to other folks. And oh God, just trying to be like other folks in this season, Lord. We're going to line up and do what you want us to do. In this season, Lord, we're going to line up and say what you want us to say. In this season, Lord, we're going to get our hearts right. In this season, Lord, we're going to trust you. In this season, Lord, we're going to make an effort. We're going to work out our own salvation. We're going to apply that word in the name of Jesus. In areas, Lord God, we don't even know about that we need to apply to. Jesus. God, I'm asking you to expose it. Bring the revelation to us. Help us to see the truth, God. Help us to see the truth. That truth. And some of us, Jesus, some of us, Lord, know the truth and still not doing it. Some of us do it and we know we wrong. Some of us keep going wrong and we're supposed to go right. Some of us have not done that 180 and turned from our wicked ways. And we know better. God, I'm asking you to help us. That backslider, that person know they're supposed to be in the house. Know where they have been rooted and planted. This is the season. Now is the time. God, give us the heart to come in. And, Lord God, and not have our focus on the people that's around and not being concerned about what people say and what people do. But having our concern on the cross, having our heart set on the high, on the hill, on high, on which cometh our help, you, it comes from you, not being concerned about what happened in the past. The past is in the past. The past is in the past. It's in the past. Jesus, help us to step out, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Each day is new mercies. Each day is new mercies. And we can walk in that new mercies. Get out of ourselves. 
words. Get out of ourselves. Command your soul to bless the Lord. Command your soul to bless the Lord in this season. Command it to bless the Lord. Regardless of what's happening. Regardless of what's going on. Don't allow yourself in the name of Jesus to put things above God. Regardless of what's going on. Oh God, don't allow us. Lord, help us not to put things above you. Help us to recognize when we're doing it. Because sometimes, Lord God, we do things and we don't even realize it. Heighten our senses. Heighten our spiritual senses. God, give us a heart. Lord God, to give everything to you. Our lifestyle, our attitudes, the way we perceive things, the way we see things, Jesus, the way we walk, the way we talk. Oh God, even the way we represent ourselves, everything has to change. Everything in this season must change because God is taking us someplace. Oh God, and help us, Lord, to receive it. To receive it in the name of Jesus. Help us to receive it in the name of Jesus. And not look back and not care about the stuff of the world, the cares of the world. Oh, it's so much going on, Lord. It's so much going on, Lord. I'm asking God that you touch the hearts, Lord God, of your people. All your people, saved or unsaved, Lord, they're your people. And some of us, Lord God, oh God, know the truth and don't walk in it. We're still out there doing what we want to do. We're sitting in the pulpits. We're sitting in the, the pews. We're coming into your house just any old kind of way. Not representing, not honoring the leadership, not honoring the God, the spirit of God that's in your house. Not honoring you. God, I ask that you forgive us. Oh, God, and give us that heart of sincerity and realness. Lord God, and we won't continue to keep doing the same old same old. Touch those people, God, that have yet to say yes to you, wherever they are. They grew up in the church. They've been, they got introduced, and they've been around in God, but they haven't had that encounter. Some of them had a counter, Lord, and still backslid and still fell short. Oh, God, raise them up. Raise them up. Pull them out of that dark place, or pull them out of that blind spot, or pull them out of that leftward track. Jesus. Pull them out of that deception, that manipulation, that witchcraft. Bewitchment, the bewitchment in their own mind. Oh God, and I'm asking you in the name of Jesus. Help them to receive you completely and totally. Lord God, let it start at home. Because it's not the sanctuary. It's you. It's a relationship with you. It's a relationship in prayer. It's a relationship in worship. It's a relationship in thanksgiving. It's a relationship of hope. It's a relationship of faith. It's a relationship with you. That's what you want. You want a relationship. You want a relationship. It's not about what he can do for us. It's not about when he can do it for us. It's about a conversation. It's a it's about an intimacy. It's an intimacy. God wants to have an intimacy. And he keeps crying out. And some of us are so stubborn that we don't even give in. God help us. Oh, fear. God, we ask that you remove all fear in the name of Jesus. For you have not given us the spirit of fear. Some of us have fear that's stopping us. Fear of what will happen. Fear of going into the unknown. Fear of launching out into the deep. Fear of going further in you. God, remove all fear. All fear that's stopping us. Fear of loss. Fear of being alone. Fear of not having a husband. Fear of not having a wife. Fear of even losing your relationships with children. Fear of losing your house, losing your job. Fears. Fear of losing your sanity. But God said, oh, we, what is it going to do? What do you gain? What happens if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Every member, every member, God, every member that 
every person, Lord, that belong to the ministry, wherever the house is, whether it's Harvest Time Ministries or someplace else, New Day, every if it's New Day, God, plant your people back in the house. Lord God, draw them closer to you. Oh God, your word says not to forsake together, the gathering together. Oh God, it's the purpose for us to come together. Help us to understand that the purpose for us coming together is to edify and lift each other up and to pray for one another. Oh God, and have a person and oh God, to have a family. We are a family. We are fitly joined together. We are fitly joined together. Every person has a purpose and a responsibility in the kingdom of God. Oh God, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus, whether we're supposed to be at the usher, at the front door, whether we're supposed to be at the pulpit ministering to people, whether we're just an intercessor in the seats, praying and praying, interceding through the, the worship, interceding through the prayer, interceding through the preaching, interceding through the ministry, whatever it is, whether we're supposed to be on the rooftops or, or where we're supposed to be down in the dirt, God, whoever we are, God, I'm asking you to bring them back into your house. Lord God, show them who they are in you. Give them, Lord God, that purpose, that plan, not their plan, not their plan, Jesus, but your plan. Help them to know who they are in you, in the name of Jesus. Help them to understand who they are in you, in the name of Jesus. And help them to know their worth, their worth. Remove those feelings of not good enough. Remove those feelings of, oh, this isn't for me. Or remove those feelings, God, because it's just unfamiliar territory. That's all it is. It's unfamiliar territory. And we need to trust God. <laughs> trust God. Just trust God. Just rest in him. Just rest in him. It may feel unfamiliar, but just rest in him. It may feel different, but just rest in him. The atmosphere is gonna even change. The way everything seems just gonna change. So God, I'm asking you to give your people the heart to receive. No matter what level, what degree, where they are right now. Give them a heart to receive what you have for them. In the name of Jesus, God, I'm asking you to touch the minds and the hearts. The minds and the hearts. That we won't be the same. That we will never be the same. Go out into the land. God, touch your people. Touch those, God, that are in authority, that have positions in your cities, your nations. Lord God, in your states, your countries. Oh God, your, your, your unions. and Touch them, Father, at every level, from the highest level to the lowest level. Whatever authority, they, they may have a position in a company, a powerful company that has clout because, God, you give them favor. I'm asking, God, that you touch them right now, even in their minds and their heart and their spirit, and you guide them, Father God, in the way that they should go. Let them not, God, continue to go. God, put somebody next to them. Lord God, that will pray, that will intercede, that will hold them up. You gave it this example, Father. There's always, Lord God, somebody there that will intercede, that I will pray for those that are in authority, that will lift them up. Father God, put your intercessors, your prayer warriors, those that need to be in place, put them in place so that they can pray for the presidents and pray for the leaders and pray for those that are over city councils and districts and pray, Lord God, for those that are over the judicial systems and the cabinets and Lord God, all across the land. Put your people in place, Lord. That you may get the glory. That you may get the praise. That you may get the honor, Father God. Touch our children. Touch our unsaved loved ones. Touch those, God, that have been brought up, Lord God, and have walked away. Father God, you said those that have been trained in the way that they show, they have been brought up in. Lord God, they may walk away, but God, they don't forget. 
those seeds, those good seeds, God, that were planted. Those good seeds that were planted. Raise them up, God. Lord God, and shift them and bring them back into your house. Bring them back, God. They've seen the good and the bad. Some of them have been raised up, oh God, in a house of hell. And Father God, somehow you introduced them, Father God, to your glory, to your power. So I'm asking you to help them to remember, Lord. Help to remember even the young ones, Lord. Bring them into a place of a, a praise, a worship, a prayer. God, that they pray, Father God, for their children. That they pray for their sisters and brothers. And that they pray, Father God, for their, their classmates. And they pray for their brothers and sisters. And they pray for the prayers. They pray, Lord God, raise up your children to pray. And seek your face. Even at an early age, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, touch your ministries now. Touch those God that are walking up right before you. Those the leaders, the pastors, the pastors of Harvest, the pastor of Harvest Time Ministries International, the pastors of all your holy churches. Touch them, Lord. Raise them up, God. Help them to get right with you. Those that aren't right, help them to light up with your will. Give them wisdom, God, beyond their years. Give them wisdom, God, to lead your people. Give them wisdom in this season. This is a different season. This is a different season. Oh, God, help them to feel it. You can feel it. You don't even have to be spiritual to feel it. It's a different season. Touch, Lord. Touch your pastors, your prophets, your evangelists, your teachers, your ministers. Touch them right now, God. That they will listen to your people, their voice, and preach and teach your people in this season, God. In this season. Go throughout the land, Lord. Go throughout the land, God. Bring your people back into your house. That your will will be done. In the name of Jesus. And help us, God, to get our heart right. Some of us got some ways to go. But there is nothing impossible with you. So God, help us, Lord. Help us to lean in. To lean into you. Not lean back, but to lean in. Not be afraid to approach the mountain just as we are. Tear down those walls, God. Tear down those walls, God. Tear down those walls. Tear them down, God, in the name of Jesus. That you will get the glory. That you will get the praise. That you get the honor. In the name of Jesus. My God. Jesus. And we just thank you, Lord. We are in expectation. We are in expectation. Believing and trusting God. That your word is true. And Father, I ask that you help us to consider even our ways right now. Even our ways right now, where we are right now, help us to consider and be willing to come up. Willing and obedient to come up to that next level in you. That new place. God, we just thank you. We give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory. We just want to thank you. God, you are so worthy. We thank you, God. In Jesus' name. We thank you, God. We thank you. God bless you. I love you. Pray my strength in the Lord. Pray for me. Pray for your pastor, whoever they may be. Pray for Pastor Har Pastor of Harvest Time Ministry, Prophet Yvette. Pray for her. Lift her up and pray. Pray for your members. Pray for your family. Keep prayer going. And remember, this is the month of completion. Today is the last day. Stay in expectation and get ready for tomorrow, the new beginning. The new beginning. The new beginning that is here. It's here. It's already here. I'm telling you, you don't even have to be spiritual. You don't have to be so in tune with the spirit. You already know there's a shifting and a changing going on. So I just want to encourage you. Don't give up. Press into God. Press in. Wherever you at, whatever state you in, press, 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 
and be an expectation to believe and trust that God is going to do what he promised he was going to do. We love you. If you in Mobile, Alabama, join us tomorrow. We're going to be located at 2912 Dolphin Island Parkway. We start promptly at 10 a.m. So please be there. You don't want to miss the move of God. He sometimes starts early, people. So I'm telling you, come. Be in expectation. Not to receive gifts, but to see God and get his word. I love you. God bless you. And we'll see you tomorrow.